What is up, Loud and Proud crowd? Welcome back to another video here on, obviously, Loud and Proud. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. I got cobwebs all over me out of thin air for some reason, somehow. Anyways, uh, we've got a good one today, okay? Hopefully a good one. We've got the dually all up and running. Everything's running great. The only downside right now is it's a little smoky. So those of you guys who saw yesterday's video know the truck was smoky, 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 it was not very good. The problem with that is it's mostly it's the fuel to air ratio. Lots of fuel mods, governor springs, delivery valves, injectors. I mean, everything, you know, we got all that stuff in there, but now we're still running that little HX35. It just doesn't push enough air to fit the air to fuel ratio, the, the way it should to balance this out a little bit better to uh, make better use of the power also to help the truck out to run better longer, long-term. DAP was kind enough to Surprise me with a downpipe for the truck. So that was very kind of them. I just told them, I said, hey, um, if you guys could send me to the, a link to the downpipe I'm gonna have to purchase, uh, that'd be great. And they just sent one. They said, hey, we just surprised you with one. Thought we'd just uh, send it your way. So um, awesome, thank you guys so much. By the way, all this stuff, you guys will be able to pick it up at diesel2power.com. If you don't see it on the website, give them a call. They will gladly hook you up with what you need for your diesel truck indeed. We're gonna get to installing this turbo. I started to spray PB Blast on the uh, on the uh, nuts for this thing just last night because I, I wasn't expecting that you know that gift you know that surprise so it was kind of kind of out of nowhere but it, I mean hey I'm, I'm good with it you know so um, but anyways we're, we're gonna have to do obviously is take the turbo out um, by removing the air box. I'm not sure if we're gonna have to remove everything or if we can just remove this band and that band and then take that off and then use this air box still or if this turbo is gonna be too big to where we can't reuse it. I don't know. So um, we'll figure that out when we get to that point. Um, but I think all we're gonna have to do is remove some of these boots down here, remove some of the small clamps, unbolt it from the manifold, disconnect the down pipe and set it back in. And then we got a new down pipe, but I'll get to that once we get to that stage. However, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited to get this done. My tires for Big Stinky should be here today. Everybody's bugging me about the tires and I know it's been so long because the company, quite frankly, suck with service. All that aside, the tires should finally be here um, today is what they said. They said they're in they're in my town, the local town. The tracking, I tracked it down. It says they're in my local town. They'll be here today. Thank goodness, but that'll probably be the tire and wheel reveal video for that truck will probably take place for the first video that goes live announcing the actual truck giveaway launching and all that stuff. So the timing will actually be pretty good. A reveal of the wheels and tires is going to be the, the first video starting the first day of the giveaway that goes live. So um, it's going to be pretty cool. So anyways, we're going to get to dismounting this turbo, the air box, and all this stuff. And intercooler piping and all that crap. And then... Uh, Get ready to start mounting in our new turbo. What's up guys? I know I look absolutely filthy head to toe. I even got the merch, which is unreleased merch. I got it all filthy. I got everything nasty. Um, shouldn't have wore a white t-shirt out here. That was my fault, but I didn't realize it was going to be so um, involved with greasy parts that I ended up having to grab. But I got it installed. It's done. This job is not that hard. Another reason why I stress buying freaking second gens or just Cummins trucks in general the way the engine's laid out after you get rid of all the shrouding crap on the new trucks, there's so much more room to work on these things. You know, I can't speak for every truck in terms of working on them um, hands-on, but I just hear from other people, like, they're just so much more forgiving to work on. But anyways, here's the turbo. All installed. Downpipes installed. Easy, easy, easy. Guys, got some more good news. It's kind of crazy, actually. So... I had told you guys, I can't, I can't call these, this tire company out now. I cannot do that. I just can't. However, 
they did make it right, I guess, in a sense. So I told them, I said, you know, on my last call, I said, guys, like, if we don't have, if I don't have my tires in, we're gonna have a lot bigger issue here real soon. And I said, guys, I said, this has got to be made right, or we're gonna have an issue, you know. And they're like, okay, you know, like we're sorry, you know, we'll get the tires out immediately. I don't know, I can't, I can't tell you why my tires took forever. I don't know if the company's just really low on some kind of funds, even though I provided the funds for my set. Like I don't know if there's some kind of issues, if it's a mom and pop shop that just, I, I don't know, I can't explain everything. All I know is even talking to my mom today, obviously she's like, that's unacceptable. You know, when you order something, you know, get it for so long. But she's like, you know, even with their business, you always have people that just drag your name to the dirt. Now, obviously, if it's like you clearly screwed up and you made a big problem, you cost me time and you cost me resources and energy and money and everything else, it's unacceptable, you know. Uh, but they'll have people that'll, you know, say all kinds of terrible crap about them and their business just because, you know, they, they don't want to pay their bills or something like that, which is always, it's, which is the worst kind of client, you know. With this, you know, I just, I was just getting annoyed because I wasn't getting what I paid for. I was like, where are they? My brother just sent me a text and he's like, your tires got here, all six of them. I said, six, well, you know, why, why, why they send me six, you know, and they're all the same tire. I said, they're all the same tire? He's like, yeah. I was like, okay. And you know, and I've got the seventh one right here and he's like, hey, if you got one more tire, he's like, you have a full set of two, you know, full set for two trucks, you know? And I just realized that I'm like, okay. So they must have been like, I don't know. I think they felt kind of bad in the end because I was like, I don't know if you guys think this is some kind of joke, but I'm like, this is my career. And I've got a lot of people counting on these tires being on a truck for a massive event that I have going on. I said, I can't let these people down. Otherwise it makes me look bad. You know what I mean? Um, so they, I mean, they sent me basically enough for two, for two trucks. I mean, they didn't say they were going to, but they did. If you guys really, really want to know who the company is, I'll let you guys know if you privately message me, I, I'll, I'll let you know. But other than that, it's just not, even though I have every reason in the world to put them out there on blast, I'm just trying to think of how I'd want to be treated. You know what I mean? Obviously, if I did something wrong, I did something really wrong. But in a sense, it's like they, they try to make it right, you know, and send me a double order to compensate for my time lost and energy and finances lost. All those side, we got the turbo in. Enough of that crap, but we got the turbo in. And man, everything's hooked up and ready to go. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. And this stuff just barely fits like that. That uh, You can see there's like a half inch gap around that uh, intake, that cold air intake box, but it's close. But even with an aftermarket turbo, I mean, it's close, but it fits without touching, without rubbing on anything. So. We're going to get this all taken off and start this thing up and first thing we're probably going to go and grab and haul with this truck is the new tires. Or we can just buy one more tire and then uh, get a new set of tires on the first gen which needs a set of wheels and tires here soon. And now that we've almost got all the tires, it might work out just perfect. <laughs> can kind of, I don't know, adapt to its new environment, I guess you could say, with letting fluids run through it a little bit here and stuff um, before actually taking it out. I can't tell if there's an exhaust leak or not, or if it just runs different like this. Like I said, I can't tell if there's an exhaust leak somewhere yet or not. can't read my boost because my uh, my boost gauge just went up to 50 and it locked in there. That's weird. I don't think I hit 50 pounds of boost. I was only going 35 miles an hour. It did clean up the smoke a little bit. Obviously if I hammer down it's still going to smoke but it's not as much as it was so airflow definitely makes a difference. thing freaking moves boys oh my gosh that was 70 that fast and I had a guy comment the other day he said why don't you just show the speedometer every time so we know how fast you're actually going because it's kind of hard to film me film the speedometer and shift and drive so I have to have my brother at any time 
or if it just, the truck just sounds like an idle's different when you're not giving it fuel. Get her down to third. Get her down to second. traction anymore boys she's just spinning and spinning every time I try to play into it just fishtails that was 80 that fast I've never had this truck 80 before this truck's never seen 80 it's seen 75 after a lot of acceleration but it's never seen 80 before that was 80 miles an hour right there should have got that because now they're gonna be like oh we don't believe you and then if I can actually get it up to 80 again, just go, and this is going to be going uphill, so it's going to be an uphill test. Not like steep, but incline uphill. Um, show them, it, it, it actually hits 80 fairly fast. And this is a big, heavy truck, so. But I'm trying to be slow with my shifts, because guys are always like, you don't want to shift these trucks like fast if they're not, I mean, it's not a drag truck, but. Drop it in a second. Yeah, just watch the tack so they can see it. Ready? more than 80 though. I mean it ain't bad but I saw my EGTs get up to like 1050 just shy of 1100 but obviously I was pushing it hard right there not hard but I was you know trying to keep traction and not break loose and end up in an accident and go straight and accelerate. Just finished up our little joy ride. Take a peek under the hood and make sure there ain't nothing leaking, spraying, you know, whatever. It looks good. By the way, just so you guys know, this is a diesel auto power Screaming Eagle SXC FMW second gen fit 62-68-14 T3 gated HX40 turbo. Got all that? Good. There will be a link in the description, of course, in the modification list that is down there. It's been there for the past handful of days. And uh, you guys can definitely go check out that there, along with all the other horsepower parts we've done to this truck. Um, if you guys are looking for the injectors, the valve springs, all that stuff, it's all in there. The governor spring kit, pretty much all that stuff Diesel Auto Power has, and they sell pretty much everything for that stuff. So, um, but if you don't see it on the website, all this stuff you should see on the website. I'm pretty sure all the stuff that I have on here is is there. But if you guys have different trucks and maybe don't have a, you know, you don't have this truck, and you're not looking for these exact parts, but you are looking for parts. Definitely go check them out or give them a call if you don't see what you need on their website. A lot of the stuff might not be up there yet, but um, they're working at that stuff every day. So, um, but if it, but if it's not up there, just just give them a call. Tell them Loud and Proud sent you, and you're looking for parts for your truck, and tell them what you need, and they will they'll hook you up. Big stinky in tomorrow for the wheels and tires to be put on the truck. Tires are in the back of the truck except for that one, and then we've got the Fuel Mavericks right there, which are the wheels that we're going to be putting on that truck. 20 by 12s, 33 by 1250 tires. It's gonna be a pretty clean looking truck. It's gonna look really good. And guys, I'm just so excited. I'm excited for this giveaway, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm really, really excited, you know? I'm giving away a truck, and I had some people, you know, commenting under a post recently, and this is just something I wanna put out there again, just to, just to reassure people, you know? I had a guy, and he's like, 
you know, he's like, I just don't know. I, I just don't know about entering a giveaway because, you know, you have way too many fans for a giveaway like this. There's no chance that anybody's, you know, there's no chance that any of us are going to win. I just want to tell you this first off. First off, the merch that's coming out is all new. It's not, it's not stuff like this. It's all new. The old material. I had my mom, you know, look at the material and the clothing. And then I had my buddy who was in, you know, over the other day, I had him trying a t-shirt and he's like, dude, he's like, this is the good stuff. He's like, this is stuff that I would want to wear. You know what I mean? Like this is, I think hundred percent cotton. This other stuff is like, it's awesome, awesome stuff. But the sayings and the, the wording on the shirts and the, the stuff is just funny. It's cool. And it's stuff that you could walk around and other diesel people or truck guys are going to know what they, what that means. You know, so it, it, it's cool stuff. Anyways, all that aside, all the side, you're going to get all the cool merch and stuff that you order. You know, nobody else with 60,000 subscribers is giving away a truck. You know what I mean? Like there's nobody else out there right now that's doing a truck giveaway or car giveaway with this few subscribers. I mean, there's channels with 700 plus thousand subscribers or millions of subscribers or, you know, whatever, hundreds of thousands um, that are doing it. Um, but not somebody with a small subscriber count like this. So, and also you have to keep in mind, don't be overwhelmed by the, by my subscriber number. Like I've had guys like, oh my gosh, you're gonna have 60,000 people enter that giveaway, there's no way. Well, not 60,000 people are gonna enter, sadly. Um, I'd love, I'd love it if 60,000 people entered, but in reality, it's probably gonna be more like one to 3% of those people are actually going to participate or consider participating in the giveaway stuff. It's just really not that many, you know what I mean? That's only between, you know, 800 and 2,000 people maybe, you know? Um, I'd love it if more entered, but I'm not banking on, you know, thousands and thousands of people, you know what I'm saying? So the birds are going crazy. Don't be overwhelmed by like a big subscriber number and think oh, that all those people are gonna enter. Cause yeah, I mean, just look at my daily views compared to my subscriber number. Those people alone is already, you know, a sixth of what my, you know, subscribers are. And then just think about how not every single person who views a video is gonna enter the giveaway. You see what I'm saying? So don't be overwhelmed by that or think like, oh my gosh, the odds are one out of 60,000. Like it's not, it's, it's not that drastic, okay? It's actually like really, this is a really good giveaway because it's not like 50, 60, 70,000 people entering. It's gonna be literally probably, prob I love it if it was more, but probably like under 2,000. Cool, cool, the cat's actually walking over here with a mouse in her mouth. You can see that hanging there. Um, that's why we have cats. That's actually kind of, kind of cool. Anyways, got all the diesel auto power parts in there. Now we just got to do the clutch, tires, paint job, and, uh, the dually's pretty much good to go. We're going to keep rocking on that truck and getting that moving. Big Stinky is about to have a whole new look. Oh my gosh. It's going to be crazy, crazy different. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Hopefully you guys all pull through and you join the giveaway. It's going to be some cool stuff. Trust me, when you see these shirts, in the hoodies and stuff, you're gonna be like, holy crow, I've got to get that shirt. You know what I mean? Like regardless, you gotta look at it as like you're buying apparel, you're buying clothing, and you just might win a truck too. So it's kind of a win-win, you know what I mean? Like there's not really a downside to it, honestly. Don't forget to check out dieselautopower.com, link in description, or give them a call. Join the team, join the family, subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.